Hello Comets in the class of 2022. I am Mrs. Rendell, one of the school counselors here at Central Crossing High School. Joining me in today's presentation will be my fellow school counselor, Mrs. Fairs. Today you'll begin part one of your scheduling for next school year. Next week, Mrs. Shu will visit you during your English class to continue this very important process. Please use this time today to begin working on your course selections for your senior year. Graduation requirements for the class of 2022 are as follows. Students will need to earn 21 credits to graduate. Students must also meet one of three options. Option one, Ohio end of course exams. Students will need to earn a minimum of 18 points on the Ohio State end of course exams. Exams are given in the following subjects. English one, English two, algebra one, geometry, biology, U.S. history, and government. Students are required to earn a minimum of four points across the two English tests, four points across the two mathematics tests, and a minimum of six points across the final three tests of biology, U.S. history, and government. A second option is to earn a remediation-free score on the ACT or SAT test. A final option is to score work ready on the work keys exam and earn a 12 point approved industry recognized credential. I will now review with you the specific 21 credits that you need for graduation. You need four credits of English, four credits of math, including algebra two. You need three credits of science, a physical science, a biological science, and then one advanced science. You need three credits of social studies, including modern world history, American history, government, which is typically a half a credit, and then a social studies elective to complete your three credits. You need a half a credit of health, a half a credit of physical education, or you can earn two PE waivers within the same activity type. Specifically, this is if you did two years of band, two years of naval science, or completed two full seasons of a sport. You need one credit of a fine art, and then five credits of electives, or you need five and a half credits of electives if you are using the PE waiver. These electives can be anything I did not specify above or any overflow in any of the categories. For example, foreign language, career tech, family consumer science courses, or let's say you did band all four years, that first year of band would be a fine art. Your other three band credits would be overflow and count as elective credits. All of this will equal your 21 credits for graduation. Students can be enrolled in College Credit Plus, also known as CCP, in a variety of ways. One way is through dual enrollment. These courses are taken in your home high school in a traditional classroom setting. A second way is by taking classes on a college campus or online. A third way is through our Accelerated Learning Center, which is located here at Central Crossing High School. There are upcoming College Credit Plus virtual question and answer meetings that you may attend with your family to learn more about the College Credit Plus process and to have your questions answered. Those sessions can be found on our school website at cchs.swcsd.us or on this slide. There are important upcoming College Credit Plus dates. February 22nd is the deadline to complete the interest survey, which you can find on the CCH website or in your cohort Google Classroom. April 1st is the deadline for your intent to participate form. And April 16th is the deadline for the Accelerated Learning Center if you want to apply for that special program. You can find additional steps and dates on the school website at cchs.swcsd.us slash college credit plus. There are four senior only credential programs in Southwestern City Schools. 
A credential gets you on a career path leading to a variety of post-secondary options while making you marketable for in-demand jobs in the state of Ohio. These programs include construction trades, customer service and support, nurse aid slash STNA, and the Southwestern Fire Academy. If you are interested in these programs and want to learn more or apply, please visit the website listed on the screen. Applications are due by Friday, February 19, 2021. Today you received your course selection sheet. Please do not lose this sheet as it will be very important for this course selection process the next several weeks. Be sure you read the details at the top of the sheet. Things to keep in mind are classes that meet zero period, courses that require special permission, and any other additional important information we would like you to know about scheduling this school year. If you have questions about classes, please check out the course description book. You can find that link here in this presentation that will be posted in your Google Classroom later today. You can also think about your choices now before we visit you next week. We want you to have time to really think about what you want to take and how you want your schedule to look next school year. Everyone will be assigned a lunch, and it is important that everyone fill an eight class period day, including lunch. If you are requesting lockout, also known as parent dismiss, you must make that request now. Counselors will work over the next several months to get your schedule ready for next school year, so we need your requests to be what you are wanting so that we can meet them the best we can. On the back of your course selection sheet, you will plan your schedule for next school year. Please keep in mind, by Friday, February 19th, you will need to enter these course requests into Infinite Campus. School counselors will be in your classrooms next week to help with this process. You must have five classes each semester, not including study hall, lunch, and physical education. Depending on enrollment numbers, not all courses on this form may be offered. Also, before the end of the school year, you will have the opportunity to verify your courses and make any changes. As I'm writing my course selections, I will speak to my teachers about their course recommendations for next school year. For English, for example, I might write 0740 English 4. In my space for math, I may write 1046 Financial Algebra as that's my teacher's recommendation. In my third space, I'm going to leave blank because lunch will be scheduled for all students. In my fourth space, I'm choosing to take a semester course of business law, drawing a line to then show I want to take a second semester course of personal financial management. In my fifth space, I'm going to record earth science, which is a year long course. In my sixth space, I'm going to record sociology, which is a semester course, drawing a line to then show my second semester course of Intro to Tech and Network Security. In my last two spaces on my schedule, I'm going to request Parent Dismiss for periods 7 and 8. It is important that I use the correct Parent Dismiss code found on my scheduling sheet, as well as write the period or periods I am requesting lockout. At the bottom, you are going to list alternative electives. If you do not fill in this section, your school counselor will choose these courses for you and opportunities to change will be very limited. These courses are in case the courses you have selected above are not being offered or do not correctly fit into your schedule. So, for example, I may select as my alternatives Business and Marketing Basics, Advanced Fitness, and Principles of Food. Counselors will be in classrooms next week to assist you with the scheduling process should you have any additional questions. Let's take a moment to review important scheduling dates. Friday, February 19th is the last day to request courses in Infinite Campus. After that time, you will no longer have access in Infinite Campus to 
request courses. Teachers will then go in and add their recommendations. If you do not select classes in Infinite Campus or fill your eight period day, please remember your school counselor will then choose for you and there will be limited access to changes. Before the end of the year, you will receive a course verification form that will list the courses that are scheduled for you. At that time, you will have one last chance to make changes to those requests. And now for your school counselors. I am Mrs. Fairs. I have the students' last names A through D. Mrs. Rendell has the students' last names E through LE. Mrs. Russell has the students' last names L-I through R-I. Mrs. Shu has the last names R-O through Z.